we're about to be doing. It's loud. We're in the inside because it's hot outside, y'all. It's too. It's like Houston. Yeah, we were gonna do it in the car, but that's a normal. I'm gonna burn up. So we're doing a story time of how we met. Somebody also asked um, how long we've been together, but that'll get into it. So. We're gonna be doing mutt land with Chick fil A. I got nuggets, fries, they got spicy chicken, mac and cheese, and we got sausage. So, and I'm gonna try. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna like eat a, eat a little, little bit and then we're gonna get into it. I thought you yelled. Everybody got so white. I don't know why that one not open. Y'all look at that. I can't even do it. Mm -hmm. I should have got a ring. So, you wanna start? Yeah. Alright, so if y'all don't know, we met at a job. It was back in uh, 2019. <laughs> so, it's so funny because it played off so smooth. It was like. I'm gonna go ahead. It was kind of like my first day. So, like, the manager, like, trying to no, show wait. me. Why are you lying? I keep telling you. When I, when I got my eyes on you. No. It was my first day. It wasn't Babe, your first day. You started before me. I'm telling you. Because my mama. I ain't gonna say that, but. All right, but anyways, like, I was going in. The manager was trying to show me how to, how to clock in and shit. And while I'm going to clock in, the clock in thing, right here, the clock in room. They right here, the clock in room right here. So as I'm walking to the clock in room, I glance. In my head, I'm like, God, damn, she fun. But you know how like it is, a manager's in your face, you trying to act professional, so like, okay, I'll get back to that later. <laughs> I'm finna like, clock in and everything, so like, yo. That's how I went, like, when I first seen her, when she first seen me. What you thought when you seen me? Well, I seen them. At first, I thought they was Puerto Rican. I did not know what she was with. Like, I didn't, I didn't care if she was Miss Puerto Rican, but something about her, I knew like it was something besides white and black, you know. So, I seen, I was like, oh my god, like, oh my god, that's a beauty. Like, I really thought she was a real deal angel. Like, she was so pretty, y'all. I mean, shit, yeah, yeah, but oh my god, it ain't nothing like that first look you see when you first meet each other. And I was like, she gonna talk to me. I already knew it from the jump, she gonna talk to me. So we're both cute. And I already seen it by her vibe that she ain't like a lot of females. And I'm a rare female, so I knew she was gonna talk to me. And then like, it wasn't even like the next day or it was like kind of like a week later. So like we didn't really work on the same shift. Like it was always like different shifts. So we finally got on the same shift. It was like in the afternoon type shit. It was like night night. Night night. Yeah, and I was like, I was like making sandwiches and shit. And I was at that station and making sandwiches and shit. And like she kept going back and forth like behind me. I was going on purpose. So like every time she walked past me, I'll turn and I look at her ass and shit. Yeah, and like it was a time where I caught her coming back this way. And I had turned around and I was like, hey, what your name is? And she was like, I <laughs> And y'all, it's so funny because it's like, I said, if I go past her a certain amount of time, she's going to end up saying something to me. And I was like, if she don't do it, I'm going to do it. But I didn't even have to, y'all. And then it was like, after that, y'all, in my head, I simply thought we were dating. Alright, I would literally go home and feel like I got a boot. Like, she gonna be calling me today. Like, my thing something. is, like, after I asked her name, I didn't mean, get her number then. You know, it was kind of like slow motion. Like, after that day, I didn't get her number. So, I was on wheels the next day, and she was already working. And I was pulling through the drive through and I guess, like, she said she could tell it was me. I was pulling in. They were taking an order. I knew it was her, they knew it was me. 
as soon as I pulled up to the window, we both start smiling. <laughs> And then, um, what I said, I, said, I, I got scared, y'all. You could tell, babe, like, y'all speechless, but all you could do is she was smiling like, ear to ear. It was like that awkward moment, like, she say something, and then I'm like, what? And then I say something, she's like, what? It was like that. It was cute, though. I feel like it was cute. And, um, when I'm getting her change, I don't know if you have a car, okay, but. When I gave you back up, like whatever it was, I couldn't stop thinking about her. I wasn't even supposed to be on my phone, but I was on my phone on her Instagram. Cause yeah. first she wanted my Snapchat. I gave my phone and all, y'all. Put your snap in. <laughs> that was funny. She she had a brain fart so bad. She I, said, I, don't even remember my, <laughs> I said I don't even remember my Snapchat. Then she gave me the phone back. She was like, um. I don't know my snap. I'm like, okay, what's your Instagram? And she said it. She ain't typing in, she told me. So I made sure I remember it. As soon as I got to the crib, I'm like, oh yeah. Type this bitch in there. Boom. Found her. Followed her. <laughs> I said, I think I sent her a message too. You did. I feel like you knew that I couldn't like be on the phone, so you would text me so I can text you. But baby, let me tell you, I couldn't text her. I was just so scared. I didn't even know what to say about it. It was so cute though. Like, and then after, after we had like, start talking. Now nah, mind y'all, excuse me, remind y'all, I mean, I was, I need you to open this one. And I want some of that. Remind y'all, I um we was texting all day, like until I got off. And no. We was just like, she called me on my break. Well, not called me, but she was texting me on my break and everything. And I was just so excited. I had got my lacona in my food, and that's when you had said somebody. But yeah, after that, a few days later, I think it was like two. I was working, but she wasn't. And, you know, we were still texting and shit. So I'm about to get off. I get off like 10. It's in my hood so late. Yeah, it's like 8 o'clock. She she texted me. She was like, hey, I got a question. Oh, so scared. And I'm like, I'm like, I remember I said, what's up, shorty? That's what I said. And she was like, never mind. Like, she, she was shy. Probably thinking I was going to say no or whatever. But she ended up telling me, she was like, um, you want to come see me after you get off? I'm like, shit, say no more. I was like, you smoke? At the time, I smoked. I was like, shit, since you smoke? She was like, yeah. I, I said, lying. I was lying, y'all. I was trying to be cool. So she would be like, okay, for real, for real. I'm like, uh -uh. So I'm like, I bet. Tell them how you thought I was capping. I want them to pull up. I'm going to say, y'all, you say you got off at 10, right? Mm -hmm. Tell me if you would have thought that she was capping. Got off at 10. Huh. Took 30 minutes. First of all, the 30 minutes was wasted. I'm like, okay, it ain't take that long to go from my house to the job, so why it's taking 30 minutes? She get there around 11, y'all. So you. a whole hour later. I'm gonna tell y'all, I'm for I had to go back to the crib to get some. Then I had to get gas. Mm -hmm. All these excuses, y'all. No, for real. I had to get gas, and then I can't show you. Saying. But a girl that's like, I ain't, I felt like I, was, I did something wrong. I'm like, she can't, she ain't gonna come. I feel like I did something wrong. So I, I would have pushed myself. And said, come outside. But that night was special. Very. And then the next day. It's undescribable. Like, I ain't never had that feeling with a female ever. That's what really, like, like what really made me settle down. Like, no goals, no cheating, not even thinking about it. Like, for all that other shit. Like, and it's, I, it's really my wife. Here. I wouldn't like that from the get go. I don't care. I just, I'm the type of person that, well, when I'm with Bae, like, okay, you will know that's your true. 
real true love if you don't feel no type of way about a person when you see them. Like, if you don't care when you see a female in person, you're, that means that's your true love. Like, you only get butterflies for the person that you with, not some female out in the streets. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. Like, I only get happy when I'm around you. But let's say I see a pretty female, I'm not gonna be like, oh, I want her in the back of my head. You know what I'm saying? Oh, or like, she fine, fine. Like, I want her, like, no. It need to be the same. Now, like, say we see a bitch. Like, what, me and baby on, we, we see a bitch. We'll like, compliment She female. pretty? We'll be like, oh, yeah, she pretty. Baby, like, yeah, she pretty. I'll be like, yeah, she is pretty. Because we got that bond. But, like, we can tell when a bitch pretty, but she got a nasty ass attitude and a whole. You can a be female. pretty. I mean, yeah, a female. You can be pretty and you got a nasty ass attitude and you a hoe, and then that make you ugly. That make you ugly. It don't been a time, y'all. We don't say a pretty a, a, a female is pretty, and this female got a whole attitude. And I'm like, bro, you like you too pretty, like you acting like that. And baby, like for real, like she ain't even got to act like that. <laughs> but what I like about Bay is that she respect me. She don't do the most of it. Like, let's say, I'd be like, oh, babe, she pretty. She got a big booty. Da, da, da. They don't be like, yes, yeah, she do. She's like, yes, yeah, she pretty, and leave it at that. That's what I like about her. I love her. I do all that with her. I feel like cheating is so childish. I feel like you still cheating, you ain't never gonna grow up, period. Hey. So like, I get back. Uh, after you know we started hanging out, or we started hanging out like back to back. I done met her mama, my uncle. Yeah, and I I, I just start coming in the crib and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like sleeping over, type shit like that. So I met my brother, everything. And at the time, my brother was so little. He was so little. Yeah, like, the funny thing about it is, like, we've been together almost three years now. Right? Three years in November. But the fact is, we stayed low key for like a year and a half. We didn't come out. Like, we didn't, like, specifically let everybody know this is my wifey. But, to like, Last year, September, my birthday. Yeah, I surprised her and I posted her. If y'all ain't see that trip to Orlando, we vlogged that. It was on my channel. But I surprised her that same day for her birthday and I posted her. That was in Orlando, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. I surprised her. I woke up. As soon as I got on my phone, I started looking at the picture and posted it. And she started smiling. I posted her too. I'm not gonna lie, like some people, they already seen us out in public and shit. So they knew. But we ain't care, like, we yeah, wanna, we we wanna talk that, like, oh, we see somebody we know, like, separating them. Mm -hmm. like, you see us, you see us, but the social media wise, we kept that shit on the hush. Social media is very bad for new relationships. Like, we on social media now, we still together. Like, social media ain't make us, but it's how we took it from the get go. Like, I know people. We keep up with our pages and shit, trying to see if we're still together. We together forever, baby. I don't gotta post her, she ain't gotta post me. But yeah, like, our advice to y'all is, you get in a new relationship, stay low key at first, you know what I'm saying? Because it's better like that, you get to know them. You don't gotta, you don't gotta deal with bullshit because a lot of people like to break up happy homes. A lot of people will make shit up to break just to make, and then just to make them happy because they feel like if I'm not happy in a relationship, I'm gonna break that happy home up. And it's it's really people like that. <laughs> mm, he's not. <laughs> it's really people like that. <laughs> I love my baby and my baby girl. I like you too. And I love your mac and cheese because that's good. I've been getting some y'all. If y'all haven't been seeing it, I've been like picking it up and talking. Look at the shirt. Mm -hmm. But yeah, y'all, like our advice, like we want to start doing like motivational speaking on our channel. Our advice to y'all is like, like they say, keep it low key. Don't let everybody be in your business. Don't even let a best friend be in your business. Like, <laughs> A best friend, sometimes even a parent, don't even let them be in your business if, like, at the beginning, you know. And it doesn't matter if it's your best friend, your mama, your daddy, don't, don't. 
because at the end of the day, anybody can not want to see you with that person. Like, it's crazy. Like, we so deep into this shit. Yeah, okay, like, my people date Haitian, right? Now, if you know Haitian, you know they ain't with that gay stuff. Exactly. But, like, my peoples, they love my girl, like, my grandma, my mama. Like, every time my mom, my grandma call me up, hey, how was you and your baby doing? Y'all good? When we gonna see y'all again? Like, they be so, like, excited to see us again. I would say what I was about to say about the, um, but uh, we're gonna keep, we keep that, you know. Cause I know Jeremiah watching. <laughs> Facts, my little brothers, they love it too, like. And you should, you should hear what Jeremiah be saying. Like, Jeremiah be saying she the sister that he never had. Cause you know, I'm, I'm a nigga, like, I'm a female, but. Yeah, he almost made me cry. I was about to really cry. It was in front of him, grandma, and your mom, babe. Listen, I, about to, I thought that was all I got. For real? Damn, I forgot we gotta walk over there. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm full. I'm coming on the car. I'm full too. Look, I'm done. Look. Yeah, I'm done. Look, I ate all mine. It was a lot. They ain't even give me no eight count. They gave me like, I don't even know. It was a lot. It was another. Oh, let me see. It was another question. Oh yeah, we answered that. How long we been together? Three years in November. And plenty more years to come. Hold up. <laughs> I love my baby y'all. I wouldn't trade her for nothing. I love her too. And you know, sometimes too. sometimes at the beginning of a relationship it's kinda rocky. But if you got over it, y'all like this like. Like and then let me we ain't say this either. Like y'all probably ain't know cause like we ain't we ain't put it out there like I I, I used to be in Bradenton. Oh long distance, y'all. Oh and she was she was out here, so like it was like we were like three hours, two hours away from each other, and we had to do long distance for like what four, six months, mm -hmm. almost a year. Like all I gotta say about that is like if you trust your spouse, I trust the husband. Wait, wait, hold me. on, wait, hold on, real quick before they even get into that. Talk about it. Talk about it first. Cause remember we talked about it, and they didn't want my heart to get broken by us being like long distance or, you know, we were still in the beginning stage. So we didn't really know each other like what we were gonna do. So we talked it out, and that's how I knew that she was for real, for real about like being with me. That was one of the reasons. Cause it was like I really want to be with you, but how we gonna do this on this? You know? Cause it's, it's always good to ask your spouses their feelings yeah because it's it's not all about you like you could be like okay yeah i want to do this but do they it, it, it matters about that too because like their feelings is involved as well as much as yours so mm -hmm. like really it's like you gotta you gotta do both but we both agree i'm talking about y'all we'd be up to 2 a.m on the phone like watching movies on our phone falling like, asleep on the bay, phone bay, uh, yeah, go back to 2 44 <laughs> the time on the movie i missed the part <laughs> Like it was like that, and then like you know, I kept telling her like we gonna get over it, like we gonna be together soon, and I that? spoke on that for real. Yeah, but like it, during during those times, like I had a whip, so like I go see Bay, you know, I pull up on Bay, spend like two three days with her, you know what I'm saying? I did that, that a fun. few times. Then Bay pulled up on me a few times, you know what I'm saying? People ain't like it, but whatever. <laughs> People ain't like me pulling up on me. <laughs> Girl, it. But hey, it ain't it ain't really up to them, you know. We was doing it for us. We don't give a fuck what nobody else thinks. Y'all relationships ain't easy. It really ain't. No, it's not. But it's just the stronger you are, that's what's gonna build y'all character in the relationship. Period. Like, this real deal, my best friend. You know? It's really. Like it's nothing but pure intentions with us between us, and that's why we we in it for the long run. We in it forever, together forever. Most but yeah, y'all. Um, let us know in the comments. Y'all want another story time? Let another us know. Another mukbang, yeah. whatever, whatever. Let us know what what food place y'all want us to eat at, or try. Cause like, let's say it's like a place out of town, and y'all see on our, our Instagrams that we're gonna be going there, or just anywhere. Like, comment down below. Yeah, most definitely. You could do a review on it. You know what I'm saying? And then y'all just let us know what what mukbangs, what food places to eat at, what story time, story time pranks. You can put it under there too. DM. <laughs> she like she go get carried away. 
But yeah. without further ado, we love y'all so much. Love you. Oh yeah, we hit 40 on our um on our um, Instagram. Uh thank y'all for the 40 subscribers. We really appreciate y'all. Period. I said subscribers. Yes. I'm sorry, okay. followers. Sorry about that. But we appreciate the 40 followers on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Stay tuned. All of our information is gonna be in the description box below. So you know, add us on Snapchat, follow us on Instagram, follow our couple page on Instagram. You know, follow our couple TikTok. And, and if you're watching this video and you new to the AK Nation, welcome. You know, what I'm saying subscribe, like, share, and stick with us. Period. We're going up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we love y'all so much. Love y'all.